Hello learners, this is Sean from the Kinder Care Education team again. I wanted to get you back together to do an exploration, another science experience, where we're going to look and see what a chemical reaction is and how we can use different substances to tell when one has occurred and one hasn't using some secret messages. So a chemical reaction is when we combine two substances and something changes or happens with them. For today's activity, you're going to need a few different supplies. First, you're going to need to go ahead and have a tablespoon and a quarter cup measuring cup. You're going to want to have ideally three paintbrushes. If you don't have three paintbrushes, you might be able to use like a towel or a sponge or cotton balls, but you'll just want to be very gentle because the paintbrushes are very soft. So you don't want to use anything really rough. Or if you're using a towel or a cotton ball, just be very gentle whenever you use it. Um, it's optional, but it makes the activity a lot more clear um, and more enjoyable to watch if you have some type of food coloring. You'll want to have a few cotton swabs, so just uh, the sticks with cotton on the ends of them. And you'll want to have a couple, but you don't need uh, a ton of them. You really need one for the first activity, and then you'll have extras if you uh, allow your child to do some extra experiences with it. You'll want to have about three tablespoons of baking soda. Um, this is going to be what we use to write our messages and you'll want water to go along with it. And then you'll need three different substances to test the experience with. So the substances I have are I have a quarter cup of water or a half cup of water, a half cup of just milk, any kind of milk. And then you'll want to have about a quarter to a half cup of lemon juice with about a tablespoon of water just to help get it to the rest of the distance. But you'll want to have mostly the concentrate needs to be mostly lemon juice. You want to have as pure of lemon juice as possible. Uh, some of the mixed bottles are fine or if you fresh squeeze some lemons and a towel to dry with. So these are all the chemicals we're going to use for the activity. You're also going to need a piece of paper to write the message on. I find that using colored construction paper is going to be the most effective because it really shows you where the interaction is happening and where it's not. But if you only have white paper, that could also work. So for the first thing we're going to do in the activity is we're not going to need any of our three mixing uh, liquids, but we will need to have a mixture of baking soda with water and it's going to be pretty thick. So you're going to want about a fourth of a cup or a quarter cup of water and about three tablespoons of baking soda. So it's going to make it really thick. And anytime you stop stirring it, the baking soda is going to sink because water can only so absorb so much of it. So you want to remix it up whenever we use it, you want to make sure we dip pretty deeply into it. I'm going to go ahead and prepare our message revealing liquids. There's three liquids we're going to test. I'm going to have the parents prepare this uh, in advance. You don't want to have this as part of the experience with the child because they're going to test the different liquids and see which one works the best and which one do they think it would work. So we have our lemon juice with a little bit of water. We have our milk and then we just have plain regular water. In order to make all these liquids mix, and not be able to tell the difference between, between them. I'm going to be adding food coloring to each of them and mixing them up. So my samples are going to be uh, mostly just blue mixtures that they're going to use for the experience. So this is something we want to prepare in advance. All right, so I have three different shades of blue because the milk and the lemon juice are going to absorb it a little bit differently than the water absorbs it. So I have three different shades of blue for my liquids. And I'm going to leave these set aside for when we actually do the reveal of the message. And then you are going to use the uh, baking soda water to write a message for their child to decode. And you want to have three messages. You can do di three different sheets of paper or you can do it on the one sheet of paper. So you're going to take the cotton swab. You're going to make sure that your baking soda and water mixture is pretty well mixed up. And even then, you're still going to want to make sure that you stick the cotton swab all the way in the bottom to get a pretty good amount of the baking soda. So I have my numbers. You can tell that you can still kind of see what's written. Uh, it's not going to completely disappear, but we're trying to make it more revealed with our liquids. So you're going to want to let this sit for a few minutes um, until it's completely dry to the touch. So that way, all we have left is evaporated water and the baking soda mixture is more caked onto the paper. So we're gonna let that sit for a minute and we'll come back to finish. All right, so we're back. We've allowed our paper to dry. Uh, the reason we wanna let it dry is because we really wanna have 
some of the water go away and mostly leave that baking soda in place. So if you look real close, you can still see the outlines. But what we're going to do is we're going to paint it to where you can only see the remnants of the numbers and we get to see a reaction to it. The challenge that you should have in the discussion with your, with your children is that not all three of these liquids are going to have a reaction with our baking soda. So we have a water mixture, a milk mixture, and a lemon mixture. And have the discussion with your child which one they think is going to react to reveal the message and you're really looking for a fizzling and bubbling to indicate that is the mixture we're looking for. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our three mixtures and we're going to use three different brushes. The reason we want to use the different brushes is because of the way the reaction works and because of how that happens, we want to make sure that we don't have a issue where we mix too much water into the lemon mixture or too much milk into the water mixture and throw it off if that's the one that works. So we use a different brush for each of the mixtures and you're going to want to make sure that when we brush the liquid on, it's going to be in long gentle strokes. We don't want to brush it really hard because we don't want to wipe away the baking soda. So we're going to start with our milk mixture. And so what we do is we just dip the paintbrush in. You want to make sure that you don't have a whole lot of extra liquid otherwise it's going to just cause the whole paper to get wet and soaked and wash away. So you're going to run the paintbrush on the sides and you're just going to gently have these long strokes on the paper to see if we're getting a reaction with our number. So if we look close, we're not actually seeing any fizzing, any bubbling. There's nothing happening in this liquid. So we're going to test the other liquids and see if one of them does something different from the rest. So we're going to hop over to the other end of the spectrum and we have our plain water. And we're going to wipe the plain water onto our number. And did we get any kind of reactions? Do we hear anything or see anything? And after we let that sit for a second, we're going to do our final liquid. We're really looking close to see what happens and see if one of them does something different. So take our liquid. And if you listen real close, whenever you brush it on, you might be able to hear something happening within the number. And you might be able to see something happening within the number. So you're going to have your child try the three liquids with the secret messages and see which liquid caused a different interaction when they're close and listening to the paper. And after this activity, you can ask them to create their own secret messages on colored paper. Another cool thing that you can do, just so you can really highlight what we're getting out of this activity, is you can take another empty bowl and you can take a little bit of baking soda and add that into the empty bowl. All right, so we're going to take a little bit of our dyed lemon mixture and we're going to just add it right on top of the baking soda. So it's the reaction we're looking at, but because we're taking and using the cotton swab as opposed to pouring directly in the baking soda, we're just getting a very small reaction. So when they're doing the activity, they're going to listen really close and watch really close for that type of reaction on their secret numbers. So that's it for me today. Again, we're testing a chemical reaction using baking soda, water, lemon, milk, and just adding that to the paper to see which ones have reactions. Now is a good time to have a conversation with your child to talk about which one worked, which one didn't, how do we know, how are they different, and then explore how some of those reactions work, as well as giving your child the chance to create their own secret messages to share with you using the baking soda and water mixture. As always, thank you for coming and hanging out with me again today. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram to see weekly updates and activities. And if you do any of these experiences at home, share it with us on social media with the hashtag KinderCare so we can see all the learning still happening at home. Thank you very much and have a great day.